Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Danganronpa, and in the last episode, we are now coming to morning. Good morning! It's another perfect tropical day! Let's throw some enthusiasm. Make sure to give it our all today. I'm just gonna say, happy tropical day, guys! <laughs> I, uh, I slowly and awkwardly sat up in bed, but my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. We also would meet up at the restaurant. Okay! Let's go be friends! Friendship, everybody! Ugh, I have one pair that's out of- Hi, Nagito! What's up, buddy? Not everyone's as strong as Byakuya. I've never thought about having to overcome anything before. It's not like I'd run away from my problems, but... It's more like I'm just living my life without even thinking about them at all. So, even so, I was able to live. But this is different. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just being too- I'm sorry I'm being too- I was being too negative. No, I understand. I feel the same as well. But now that we've talked, I feel like uh, I feel assured once again. Being loners won't get us anywhere. That's why I think we should all help each other out. Also, I think we need to get stronger. An ordeal like this is what makes us cling to hope. It, yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll be heading to the restaurant now. Boy. <gasps> all right. Bye, friend. Oh, friend. Girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Talk to every single one of them. Oh, Mika, or yeah, Mika. Sorry. Good, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Ha ha. Uh, what is it? I just said good morning. Why is she so shocked? Well, my first time greeting someone, and it was actually greeted back. I'm so happy. Um, could you do it once more? Good, good morning. Good morning. life as she had. <laughs> she was abused. I bet it. She has to have been abused. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> I love her though. She's such a cutie. Jeez, uh, I am so sleepy. Mr. Ham Hands is so selfish. It's totally fine to sleep the morning in the mor sl spend the morning sleeping in. But we need to eat breakfast anyway. What's wrong with eating together? Well, I like to spend breakfast eating sweets in my room. That's fa already fine. Uh, um... Eating sweets for breakfast is bad for your health. You're consuming way too much sugars and fat. Who made you my doctor? Don't speak without my per without my permission. Ah, I'm sorry. Jeez, listen to this ugly bitch crying in the morning makes me so sick. You definitely have the ultimate bad attitude. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the only one thinking it. Oh, jeez. Okay, hi. Hi, Mihiro. What's up, girl? Uh, good, good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. Jeez, uh, what's with the sullen face? Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. I really couldn't- I couldn't really sleep last night. I have a lot on my mind, and I don't even know if I'll ever get the answers I'm looking for. Man, just for kicks, I should prepare some yummy desserts and tea and invite some people to come chat with me. Just so you know, it's gonna be girls only gathering, so don't expect the boys to be invited. Sounds like an excuse for some girl talk. Why do girl what do girls even talk about? I guess guys will never know. Um girls talk about anime and hot Yishojin guys, and sometimes we compare dick sizes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go on ahead. You better hurry to the restaurant. I don't. I'm being a dumb. I'm being a dumb dumb girl. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, you don't want to know what girls talk about. We talk about weird things. Mostly about how bad guys are at sex. Simple as that. Hi, Boogie. Good nom nom nomming. What? I thought a greeting would while we, while we, um, for while we eat breakfast together. It's a revolutionary new phrase that combines good morning and nom 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 at the same time. You are the best. <laughs> I love you. This is definitely the new hip thing to say. In fact, I make sure it's my new hip thing to say. Good nom nom nomming. So, I'm gonna go tell everyone. If she makes it popular, it's still be limited to this island. Uh, she's a singer. She can do it. Hi, uh, Chucky. Good morning, Chucky. Good morning. What was the pause for? I'm in the middle of doing some combo strings. Couldn't really reply. Doing what? I guess it's almost time. I'll go to the restaurant then. 
Did I interrupt something she was doing? She was gaming. Combo string. She's probably playing a rhythm game. I'm just, just knowing, knowing that, that or she was playing a really hardcore game where she had to battle people. Friendship! So what people are already at the restaurant. <sighs> but nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, people were late began were getting to arrive as well. Everyone pops up. Is everyone here? Huh? It seemed like Fuya Hiko is not here yet. <laughs> and maybe I already got killed. Ugh, dead bodies already? Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. Why does he have to act like such a lone wolf at times like this? He, could, could he... Is he thinking of a plan to kill someone himself? Uh, Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Don't, don't you understand what that means? He's a part of the Japanese Mafia. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk amongst ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. I have decided to throw a party to- PARTY?! Will there be darts? And bowling? <laughs> I'm being a dumbass, sorry. Uh-huh. A, a, a party? Uh, that's right. A huge party for the last from sundown to sunrise. Party till the sun comes up? Uh, just so we're clear, you are there. I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Hey, it's not not time to talk about this stuff. Like now's not the time to be talking about this stuff. Like partying. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. Uh, still, we really shouldn't be partying. Um, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It, it doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. In fact, because they think because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we strengthen our friendships with one another. That's why you what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. And it doesn't matter why I'm doing it. All in one, anyway, it's of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. Now you say that with such significance. And it's decided we're going to have a part. We're going to have. We're having ourselves a party. Even so. I'm not sure it, it needs to last all night. But it, if I thought that, if I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is what we need. And then let's party hard. And in that case, I will put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Where is the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Uh, no, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place Monokuma can't enter. That is what we, why we need, what we need is an enclosed space. An enclosed space? If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Uh, what the cottages? I'm going British, I'm sorry. So many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. Uh, but if you want to be pressed up right against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best place. Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the women-only train in drag? I feel so lucky. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying such per your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert that everybody likes. Your confidence is seriously impressive. <laughs> I, I do like Terry Terry. I'm sorry. He does. He's a pervert, but you know, I can get down. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pervy too. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? That rundown place? Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place to meet our needs for an enclosed space, right? Indeed. However, Monami has forbidden us from entering that old place. I recall. In the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation. Heard it with all my with my very own ears. <laughs> I have good ears, cause I'm a rabbit. Oh, so you use your ears? Oh, that's strange. Huh? Uh, then what's the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they Monica for Monokuma's eyes only? Oh, she's she's growing mushrooms. <laughs> oh, she looks so disappointed. 
Well, it's of no concern. We can settle this issue another time. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? Yes. If it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. So in any case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can plan the, I'll plan the party together. <laughs> together? That's not happening because you're so disgusting. Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Your kind words make me want to cry. <laughs> I didn't even get to say bye. <laughs> I feel bad now. Um, so what are we get? What, what, we're all good with the old building? And then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, do, don't we need to clean it first? I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience it. But no way. There is no way we adir or dirty our dear princess's hands. Ugh, I don't want to do it either. What? Nobody's gonna do it? You. In that case, why don't we decide by random drawing? Random drawing? To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. So go through the trouble preparing this. What did you think would happen? <laughs> Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Well then, let's entrust our destiny to the whim of this drawing. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everyone turned to pull it, turn pulling the chopstick out, Nagato held in his hand. It was all said and done. Huh? I'm left with a red mark? <laughs> for, some, for someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Hmm. I guess it can't be helped. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. I thought so. You seem like you make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of girls would like him to be their stay-at-home dad. <laughs> Sorry. I'll handle the cooking. Alright, I need to prepare my ingredients and then I'll start cooking up the old building. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out and I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then, I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Oh, well, let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. Party! Woot 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 party! Okay. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the co- Are we gonna get free time? Free time? Free time. Yes. Let's let's do free time. Who do we want to hang out with? Who do we want to be BFFs? Oh, we want to do that. It's where Monokuma plushies are. Being here without my permission. How dare. All right. Anyways, who do we want to hang out with? Okay. Uh, who do I want to see today? Who's at the old building, anyways? I'm curious. I know Nagito and Teru Teru. Maybe one of them I can hang out with. Oh, Hajime. I'm sorry, you came all this way. I have to ask you to leave. I'm so busy cleaning right now. I'll definitely finish before the party. I'll see you tonight. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess I can't hang out with Teru Teru or him. Okay, whatever. Who's on my list? Chiaki. Kane. Nikon. Sonia, Yoko, Yakuya, and Gundam are all in their rooms. And then. Oh! Terra Terra is at the ranch? He might be getting eggs. You know, cooking things. Go fondle those that cow and the chickens. And you know what? I'm being a horrible person right now. Never mind. Kill him just shut your mouth and walk. Go to the ranch! We'll meet up with Terra Terror. If I can't hang out with Nagito, I guess we'll hang out with Terra Terror. <gasps> I don't know. Whoa. Wait, that was the wrong way. Wrong way, guys. Ranch. Let's go to the ranch. Hi, cows. Cows. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Hello, Terra Terror and Nakamaru. <gasps> okay. Terra Terror. What is it? You can't wait for the tastiest party dishes in the world? Territory looks like he's busy. Should I invite him to hang out? Yes, let's hang out with him. Your body just can't live without me? <laughs> You're a naughty boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, he is open to everything, I guess. Territory must be super bisexual. <laughs> Spend time with Territory helping him with his dishes. 
friend! Let's say Terra Terra and I grow a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Uh, I don't think I have anything. I was wondering, what do you specialize in particular in, in a particular- Do you specialize in particular style of cooking? I swear you read that completely wrong. <laughs> what a ridiculous question. Why would you kill the possibility of your ing ingredients being limited to, you to yourself to a speciality? Or a specialty. I always say speciality, I don't know why. <laughs> well, if you say so. I don't know if it's right to say all cooking is creative. Chefs have the right to be called chefs because they create dishes. It'd be simple for a true chef to create something from nothing. I don't really understand, but he sure has amazing confidence. All the weird looking guys have like super great confidence. It's really funny. I sort of understand Teru Teru's uncommon passion towards his dishes. Anyway, Hajime, I've been wondering this for a while. And don't you think getting your dishes resemble that a lot? That? You know, that! You can only mean one thing. Are you talking about sex? Juicy, succulent meats intertwined, the naughty sound of squishing and splashing. Ew. When you say it like that, sex sounds gross. <laughs> At times gentle, at times it's forceful, you gotta rub it in, you gotta tease it, you gotta just... <laughs> you know, I wonder if Terror Terror, like... <laughs> I wonder if Terror Terror is actually a virgin or not, this makes me curious, does anyone- No, nobody else is probably as curious as I am. <laughs> See, you understand, right? Could it be that he's thinking about... Yeah, dot dot dot. <laughs> Oh god, I didn't even ask. <sighs> I guess it's unavoidable. I guess I know now that your body is pure. Terra Terra's mumbling gibberish about to himself. I guess I should let him be. It'd be too annoying to deal with him. <laughs> well, if I ever does decide to cook, you should take some simple you should know some simple advice. They say there's a fine line between cooking and screwing. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is gonna lead to chocolate and whipped cream or something. Who the hell ever said that? I really want to think about it, but don't tell me that the re that's the reason you started cooking. I see. That sounds plausible. And after all, both actions appeal to human instincts. <laughs> but to be honest, it's much simpler than that. I was destined to become a chef the day I was born. After all, my family's restaurant back home is a di is a diner. <laughs> I mean, a fancy upscale restaurant. I see. So you decided to become a chef after you're helping out with your family business. Helping out? Uh, it, if it, it weren't something that easy. You just, wait, yeah, did he just use an accent? Uh, the rise of family restaurants, constant attacks with cheap chain joys, the bullying from a rival store, group stricken mother, and a frightening younger siblings who are born to be two different mothers. And to stop that crisis, I ventured alone and competed in a cooking deathmatch hosted by Shogun Taste. <sighs> just kidding. A dirty tale of hardship like that doesn't suit an attractive urbanite like me rather hear me talk about my splendid and glorious life as a first-rate chef, right? Right? Uh, I would want to know more about that cook-off. Potato ho fresh. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, guys, Tumblr has the best uh, imagines for characters. Um, it's actually funny because um, I didn't read anything with spoilers or anything. I'm totally not doing that. No. Um, I actually read a couple of really good not safe for work spoiler or spoiler free ones talking about like not safe for work stuff and actually it makes Terra Terra seem very sensual and he would seem like he seems like a jerk but he's kind of loving and adorable and I'm like am I actually okay no <laughs> I could link those below if anybody's interested but I'm not going to right now but anyways listening to him for a while I return back to my cottage and I know I just said that weird. Sorry. There's more free time. Ooh. Okay, more free time. Um, I think I want to hang out with Chiaki, actually. Chiaki wants to be BFFs. Come on. Okay, she is going to be a gaming. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, I just don't have any coins right now. Oh. Pecco. Chiaki or Pecco? <laughs> Both are pretty ladies. <laughs> now, hold on, we're gonna check my pet first. I haven't checked my pet in a bit. The poops. Poops. Clean. Take care of this. I keep forgetting that's the thing. Hmm. You know what? Yeah. Let's go hang out with Chiaki. Next time we'll hang out with Pecco. I wanna hang out with the pretty lady with the sword. Oh, she's. Okay, she's not in here. Never mind, Pecco it is! <laughs> with a pretty Pecco. Where 
are you, baby? Baby, where are you? Up oh, there you are. Hi! A party, huh? I'm not that good with social events. What should I do? Should I... Let's hang out with the baby. Let's hang out with the pretty lady. Her hair and my hair actually could be matching right now. If I had my hair back and I wanted to do my hair like her, I probably could. I need longer hair, though. I have no reason to decline. Let's talk for a bit. I spent some time talking to Pekko over tea at the restaurant. Aw, oh, tea! Tea with the pretty lady. I think Pekko and I grew a little closer. Should I give her a present? I don't have a present right now. I have no presents for anybody right now. Sorry. <sighs> hmm. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey, Pekko. Do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. Is your house a Kendo dojo? Sort of. Sort of. Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Pekko's stare is really intense. I'm, it might be best if I change the subject. Well, let's see, a topic that probably won't offend her too much. I know. What level are you? <laughs> are you talking about my Kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? People don't nor don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? I have no such aim. My destination's already been decided. Protect who I must protect. Cut out who I must cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of my sword. Wielding a blade is the is its truest sense in its truest sense is my aim. I could not read that. I'm I apologize. That is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Pekko isn't a normal kendo type, typical kendo athlete. She actually truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How could I ask such foolish questions about levels? I don't know much about kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. R really cool? You say such things. No one has ever said that to me before. Um, well, dang, dang. Uh, never mind. Oh, cutie! You are such an adorable little thing. I love it. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? <sighs> However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. More irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Fluffiness? There are things that are warm and fluffy and soft. The cat that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the, even the finch I had as a pet. Animals can sense my menacing presence and run away from me. I just want to touch their soft fur and fluffy feathers to my heart's content. Oh, you are such a cutie! I see. That's that's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, well then, what? what why about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Also, since his hamsters are called the Four Dark Davis of Destruction, they might not get scared of me and run- Oh, wow. Weird eyes all of a sudden. I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look really scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Oh! Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Pekka walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. I love it! But based on this, I feel like I was able to signif significantly clo close the distance between me and Pekko. Oh, next time I might be able to talk to her normally. More hope fragments and I leveled up. Yes! I am so happy right now. I decided to go back to my room for a while. Is it nighttime? Oh, ding dong, bing bong. But actually, we are going to cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys every day. Bye-bye.